something different again, hey. So it's the second day in a row, going to go and ride somewhere different. And I'm gonna go and ride something different and I'm gonna go and ride with someone different. So. Part of my road trip is to go and try a gravel bike for the very first time, a gravel specific bike. I've got the Canyon Grail. I'm going riding with Nathan Haas. He's a bike rider who needs very little introduction. He entertains. He's been in the world tour for quite a few years and it's time for him to go and hit the escape hatch and enjoy his cycling in a different way now. He has mapped out a course around Canberra. This is the story of my ride with Nathan on my gravel bike. It was a very loose plan. It was like, let's go for a ride. And that's what we're doing. So I follow my line, but there's like a little rocky thing further down. Yep. You know, if you have a mountain bike, it's quite boring because, you know, it's not challenging in any way. When you're on a gravel bike, you know, anything can kind of become challenging. It's a bit speed. <laughs> this is nice here. Yeah. Whoa. So this is Isaac's Ridge. And it's a really famous area for, for Canberra downhill racing. It was always, when I was racing downhill and the sport was sort of growing in the early to mid 2000s, this was always referred to kind of as, you know, the craziest, most technical course. And the piece of road we're actually on now as part of the road gap. So we've been filming for, well riding, for 45 minutes. And I filmed a little bit because I'm just getting used to the bike. And Nathan wants to go fast. He's showing me beautiful places but I can't film it all and I carry my camera just to be clear. It's not stuck on my chest or on my handlebars or anything. But I'm promised some more spectacular views. But this is the beginning. Where the hell are we? So this is the top of Isaac's Ridge. Wow. And we're actually looking out now clearly towards the Brindabellas, which is beautiful. You know, I would call what we're doing today like urban gravel. But if you really want to do like gravel, gravel, where you go really on an epic adventure, it's out that way. But you need the like the survival straws to go suck the rivers because there is no taps out there and it's hot. But um, yeah, you know, Canberra's quite interesting. It's, it's called the bush capital because you know, everywhere you look, theoretically, you're not really going to see much suburban sprawl. So it's a pretty nice green space and that makes it perfect for finding the ultimate gravel. No, it's been good, it's been good. We're going back down the hill, aren't we? After a drink, maybe? Yeah, we might even stop for what the Germans call a Pinkelposen. Ah, I know what that is.
So it's said gravel, not grass. Is that a whole new genre? <laughs> I'm gonna put on the world's first grass race. <laughs> oh shit, I've gone AWOL. Can you call it cycling grass? <laughs> For the record, I'm getting used to this bike. <laughs> I feel like we're in Grease Lightning zone. That would actually be quite a funny video. And then, as quickly as it started, it stopped because um, there was a message from home for Nathan. So he's he's scarped, he's uh, he's off to uh, manage what needed managing. And I am grateful for the time that I rode with him, and I'm grateful that it, I got a little bit of a pause because I was getting pretty tired, to be honest. Because <laughs> he was smashing it, and I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think it'd be fire trails, but I didn't think it'd be quite that hardcore. But I'm glad it was, because it was an eye-opener, and I see how gravel should be ridden. For me, it's a cycling mecca, and today we're going to show everyone just how good the gravel riding is. But more than that, show everyone how amazing the gravel riding is without ever being more than like five to 10 minutes away from a cafe. So <laughs> that's the point of today. All right, ta-da, ta-da. Does this count as gravel? Well, it's good. Yep, <laughs> you can drift, it's gravel. <laughs> So this is like road. Do you remember that? Are you still allowed to do that? 